Hey everyone, uh, today I got a very interesting video. I got a video on Nokia Windows Phone uh, 8.1. Uh, this case is uh, quite interesting because even though we can't per perform chip off on this device, but we're not allowed to because of uh, the sensitivity of the case. Um, so this is a forensic case. I can't really disclose too much about this case or, or any data that's on the phone, but I can definitely show the procedure that uh, that's going to be used to extract the data from this phone. So this phone is a Nokia RM975. Uh, it's a Windows phone. Uh, Celebrate does not support a physical extraction on this device, but uh, it does support parsing from a physical image. So uh, we're going to use a method called ISP in system programming. Uh, we're going to use a donor phone and we're going to find the ISP pinout and then we're gonna get the evidence phone and we're gonna hook up to those pinouts and we're gonna dump the data directly from the motherboard without actually removing the chip. Uh, it's a very interesting case so uh, stay tuned and uh, let's get to it. So in these types of cases uh, we always get a donor board <clears throat> so this is, uh, this is the donor phone this is the one we're gonna pull the shields off so I've already protected the shield uh, with some captain tape and the connectors in the bottom. I don't necessarily have to do this to this phone because this is a donor. I don't have to protect this phone, but but I want to do it anyway so I can practice for the actual evidence phone. So the way we're going to lift the shield is now uh, we're going to use, I think I've used 420 degrees or so 410, which is a lot less than I would use on an iPhone. The problem is, um, Somehow, when I was um, heating up the, the shield, uh, not only the shield came off, uh, but the memory chip itself. I mean, the end result was to remove the chip regardless. Um, so, in this case, it's not a problem. The problem is going to be when I have to replicate this process on the actual evidence device, which we don't want to be lifting the chip because we're not allowed to. So, here's the chip, it lifted itself. So. Um, here where I started thinking well I can't be using heat so I had to figure out a different solution for this uh, for the evidence phone but since we have the chip off we can now start looking for the uh, ISP pinout <clears throat> so here's the picture of what we're looking for so you need uh, CLK command and data zero and the ground so not many pins in some cases we need also uh, power but I'm gonna power phone directly so um, usually the um, the corresponding pinout will be somewhere on close to the chip so I'm just uh, just checking with the multimeter uh, where do I get the beep or closed circuit so here's one here's the other one so I, I just marked them on the board uh, with the with the um, with the probes I'm just double checking like I have the right um, pinout so that's it there so pinout has been found so now I'm going to reboil the chip and put it back onto the phone to make sure the phone works. Uh, this is so we can test the ISP pinout. So this is the donor phone still. Uh, we ran the wires through the new test pinout and, and it worked. And uh, here's just a video of me explaining how the phone still works uh, after putting the chip back on and, and all that stuff. So the phone works and here I'm, I'm just discussing um, how to remove the uh, the shield or heat. This, vi this, this, this video was actually for, 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 the, for the lawyers. so. I, uh, I muted the sound. Um, so here's me trying to remove the shield, um, trying to use an exacto knife. I'm surprised this process actually worked, and the, the shield peeled back uh, pretty good. Um, near the near the end, there was some um, some difficulty, but here's the, a good uh, macro shot of the uh, shield after removal. And now we're just gonna solder up some points, um, some wires to the. Um, to the ISP points and we're gonna actually perform the ISP pinout, uh, sorry, ISP dump on the on the actual evidence phone. Been ground and here is uh, easy J tag where we're gonna dump the um, the um, memory chip uh, using the, their software and the process is quite simple I already have the settings settings done correctly so we can detect the chip 
and chip is detected uh, so now we can start reading process I think this took about 40-50 minutes uh, give or take and once this was done we ended up with the uh, 8 gigabyte um, binary file uh, which then uh, is loaded into uh, Celebrite UFAD physical analyzer just like with any other pro project that we, we did previously so I put in the model number and select the images and that's it and the data will be decoded thanks for watching um, we're gonna have another video coming up soon uh, stay tuned if you, if you like our videos um, hit like and subscribe for more